Hey, what's up guys? My name is The Cherno and welcome to another vlog. So this time I'm along the southern coast of Australia. We're just on the Great Ocean Road in winter. Man, I absolutely cannot wait to get out of here and just go to Europe where it's summer because I'm seriously, even though Australian winter isn't that harsh, I'm seriously just, I, I need, I need summer. Just gonna try and find the beach here. Found it. So today I just want to build on what I said last vlog and kind of give you guys a bit more detail on what I meant by some of the points that I made. So last time I kind of gave you guys a bit of an overview of what it is you need to do to actually learn programming and get started with that. And I mentioned that a good way to learn would be to get some books because books in general are just going to be higher quality than the stuff that you can find on the internet. And a lot of you seem to really dig that, however if you're like me, you just don't always have the time to start reading a book. Luckily for you, Amazon has something called Audible, which is essentially an audiobook library. And they have a number of really, really good programming books that you can actually listen to. And to be honest with you, like at first, I wasn't really sold on the whole audiobook idea, but it's actually really, really useful to just have headphones in when you're on the train, traveling to school or to work, and being able to just listen to all your books without having to actually physically have them in front of you. Another great one is when you're driving. You can't really read an ebook when you're driving, but you certainly can listen to it through your car radio. It's just a really good way to kind of surround yourself with more knowledge and dive more into programming. So if you want to listen to some great free audiobooks and help support this channel, I've put a link to a 30-day free trial in the description below. Anyway, back to it. So, what exactly do I need to do to get started with programming? Like, what exactly is, like, how do I actually start? If you watch my first vlog, you know that the most important step is actually starting and actually trying to program and actually beginning to do it because if you just spend all of your time preparing yourself or just soaking in tutorials, you're not gonna actually get anywhere until you start doing the work. But that being said, if I don't know what work to do, where do I start? How do I find work? Where am I going to be taking in this knowledge? One of the first things that I really recommend is picking up a book and starting to read it. It doesn't matter what book, just an actual programming book. Not a programming book on a specific topic such as OpenGL or something like that, but just a book on the actual language. Most programming books will actually teach you programming as well as the language, not just exactly that language. There are books called C++ for Java developers. Obviously, if you don't know any languages, that would be a bad book to pick up. However, the general books on C++ and Java and all of that stuff, they contain plenty of knowledge on how to actually learn the whole programming kind of, how to get in that programming mindset, not just learn that specific language. I mentioned this a little bit last vlog, but if you're just struggling to get into that programming mindset, if, you, if you're struggling to think like a programmer, then 100% the book I would recommend is Code Complete. There'll be a link in the description below for you to pick that up if you want to. Again, just a suggestion, I've read that book. It's, it's amazing. It's a really good book and it's great for all, for all skill sets. Whether you're a beginner or you're advanced but you just want to kind of brush up on your skills, that book is completely independent of any language. It's a really, really good book if you just want to kind of learn programming as a whole instead of a specific language. So highly recommend that book. I've got some other books in the, in the description below for all the other languages and they are solid. However, if you had to pick up one programming book, if that's all you can afford, if that's all you had in your programming book library, it would 100% be code complete. I'm sure, that, I'm sure if you've hung out with any kind of programming institutions or workplaces, you've heard the same. I'm not even joking when I say that code complete is pretty much on the desk of every single software engineer at EA. If you don't like reading books, another thing you could do is listen to an audiobook. There's a link in the description below to Audible. 30 day free trial, might be worth signing up. It's completely free just to see if you like that kind of learning strategy. A lot of people soak in knowledge really well when people actually say it at them, which is why some people actually prefer going to lectures in university rather than reading books, and I completely understand that. I kind of like a bit of both. If you don't like that, you can watch videos as well. There's plenty of videos on YouTube that will teach you programming. I've got a C++ series going on right now. And there are also plenty of non-video tutorials online, just written tutorials that will also kind of help you out with programming 
programming and teach you how to make a game from scratch, for example. The fact of the matter is, the reason I'm telling you all this is that it's really important to find a good start, but once you do start, once you, once you have read that tutorial, once you've read that book, it's really important that you start practicing it. You're not going to get anywhere if you don't practice anything. So one of the best ways to actually get yourself to start programming is to find some kind of passion. What is it you want to do? Why do you want to learn programming? Do you want to work at a game studio? Do you want to design mobile applications? Do you want to build websites? What is it exactly that you want to do? Find that and write that down on a piece of paper and put it up on your wall. Wake up every morning and look at that piece of paper on your wall and be reminded of exactly what it is you want to get done, what it is you want to learn. I find that being reminded of the goals that you're failing to achieve every single day can be a really great motivator for you to just one day say, enough, I'm, this is the day, I'm gonna do it right now. Find a project to work on. This doesn't have to be something in the open source community or something that your friends are doing. It can be a completely personal project. Just find something that you want to actually do. Maybe you've always wanted to make a game like Minecraft, but you have some kind of unique twist to it. Start working on that. It might sound crazy for me to give advice such as you should build Minecraft as your first game. And, and to an extent, yeah, I agree. It's completely crazy. However, you're going to learn so much if you strive to achieve a particular goal. Learning to make Space Invaders or Pac-Man or Pong might be suitable first games. However, people aren't usually excited about that. People don't usually spend hours learning and being like, oh man, I can't wait to make Pong. Again, if that's you, cool. But for a lot of people, that's just not the case. But something like Minecraft, might be something that excites you and because you're excited by the notion of creating something like that you'll be more likely to actually spend time learning how to do that. You'll be waking up every morning or getting home from school every day and just immersing yourself in that world of learning because you really, really want to achieve that goal. And that's going to be a massive help to actually learning how to write code. Learn to work with people, right? Working with people is something that you're going to have to do probably for the rest of your life. Not necessarily, but Pretty much yes. So learn how to work with people. Find a friend who's interested in programming. If none of your friends are interested in programming or you just don't know anyone that's interested in programming, then leave a comment below. I've also got a Slack team. If you go to slack.thechannel.com, you can join, it's free. It's basically just a whole bunch of people hanging out in like kind of an instant messenger format, just talking about programming and working on projects together. So if you can't find anyone and you want people to start motivating you, definitely check that out. Link will be in the description below, slack.thechannel.com. Working with people is really, really important because you can ask them questions all the time. And if you're really smart, you'll start working with people who are smarter than you, who know more about programming than you, because you can ask them questions about all the little things that you're confused about or that you're just not 100% sure about and they'll probably be able to answer it like that. It's much faster than asking a question on a forum or Googling it yourself and potentially getting the wrong answer. Asking people questions is amazing. When I first started working at EA, I had a billion questions which no one at university could answer because it was far outside the expectations for, for the course that I was doing. But when I started working at EA, I was lucky enough to have the technical director of the entire studio as my boss who basically sat right next to me and I could ask him questions all day long. And I have to say that in the first week, in my first week at EA, I 100% learned more than I did in three years of university, for sure. Because I could ask questions to anything I could think of and I would get an answer immediately. So definitely, definitely work with people. How do you learn any new skill? Practice, time, it takes time to learn. Lately I've been really into photography. I've been taking photos and putting them up on Instagram. Instagram.com forward slash the channel. Link will be in the description below. Be sure to follow me there. How did I learn that? How did I learn that new skill? I'd never really taken it seriously in my life before this year, before 2017. How, how did I improve at it? How did I get good at it? Whilst I'm definitely not saying that I'm an amazing pro photographer right now, the way that I improved was I got out there and I started taking photos. I went to cool places like this with my camera and I started taking photos. Of course, I watched videos and read articles and talked with people about photography as well, but the way that I actually learn the most is I go out and I start practicing. For example, I don't know how I can capture stars at night. Well, guess what? The only way you're gonna learn is if you go out at night with your camera, with a tripod, have a few basic tips that you've picked up online or from a book or something, and just experiment with it. Try a 30 second shutter, try a 20 second shutter, try a higher ISO. You need to actually get out there and start practicing and then you can take photos like this. I literally took that last night. Instagram.com forward slash the channel. 
follow me. The point is you need to actually get out there and start practicing, start actually trying to do stuff. And an important thing for that is realizing what it is you want to do, right? What are you interested in? Do you want to write websites for photographers? Do you want to work on a rendering system for a game engine? What is it that excites you? What is it that you want to do? You might not know exactly what you want to do yet as far as programming goes, but that's okay. Just go ahead and start somewhere, anywhere, and just try out a whole range of different disciplines. Try writing graphics code, try writing websites, try writing game engines, try writing game scripts, try making an AI system. It doesn't matter, just start somewhere. And hopefully along the way, you'll find something that you really, really like. Learning nowadays is a lot easier because we have the internet. It's a massive, massive place where people all around the world can share knowledge. In the past, you had to travel to certain regions of the world to find out how exactly they do what they do. But now, everything is on the internet, everything is online. And not only that, but it's all indexed and searchable via a search engine such as Google. It's really quite amazing, but what people seem to forget is that learning still takes time. It still takes you time to learn something. Just because you have the internet doesn't mean that's it, I'm done, I can instantly program now that I've got, because I've got the internet, right? I can Google whatever it is I want, I can learn how to skateboard, I can learn how to take photos, I can do anything I want because I've got the internet. Yes, true, you could learn to do anything that you want, but you actually still have to learn it yourself, right? People nowadays just seem to expect to be able to do everything just because the internet exists and just because everything's online and all that knowledge is there. Knowledge is one thing, execution is another. You need to learn how to actually do what it is you want to do, not just not just have all that knowledge accessible. That's not gonna get you anywhere. It sounds simple, but people just seem to forget that. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Over the next few vlogs, I'm gonna kind of talk about my experience with how I learned programming exactly. I'm gonna kind of take a more detailed, step-by-step -step kind of guide to how I got where I am. For those of you who don't know, I'm an engine developer at EA, so I'm gonna kind of follow my learning journey. Not exactly how I got to where I was from like kind of a business point of view, but more or less how I learned what I needed to learn to get up to that point. So that you kind of get a glimpse of my path and you can see what I did. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. A lot more vlogs coming your way. So I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.